So what's going on in Scranton, Pennsylvania this yep. morning? You don't just get an education. Giving back to others. A sense of community on the campus. The quality of the students at the university. They are so uh, loyal to the university. There's always a little bit of Scranton with us. When it's becoming better and better and better. You've given me an experience I don't want to let go of. We look back on our 120 year history with tremendous satisfaction based on what people have done, generations have done, to build this institution to help fulfill the promise made by Bishop O'Hara at the time of our foundation. The community has a spirit that just draws you in and really nurtures your growth. And it cares about uh, the rest of the world. That was good. Very nice. Okay, this group. Everybody here, they, they know your name. Professors are really easy to talk to. You can get anything that you need from them and they're really willing to help and I love it. Like, I'm so glad that I came. We're very proud of our students. We're proud of our Jesuit heritage. We're proud of the traditions and the accomplishments of the university. He's had brothers and sisters attend as well and I've had a sister attend here too, so it's a real family affair. <laughs> There really is a strong bond here between the students, students support each other, between faculty, and also the staff. The education at Scranton goes far beyond the classroom, and that's not by accident, that's by design. And it's fostered by the whole community here. I always tell my students, do something that you love. Do something that you're passionate about. And they have a passion about teaching students here at Scranton. It's really nice. The class size is small. He knows all of his teachers. We have another son that's coming here next year. We're, we've been thrilled as parents and we were thrilled as students. So it's been a great choice all around for our whole family. Exciting time to be at the University of Scranton because we have so much potential right now. We have so much promise. We think of the campaign as accomplishing two very important goals for the university. The first is to transform our campus through capital projects, starting with the DeNaples Center, then Condren Hall, and ultimately a new science building. The second is to secure our future, and grow the university's endowment for scholarships and financial aid so that Scranton remains an affordable option. We also want to make sure that we provide the best resources for our world-class faculty. This school needs the resources to stay competitive so that it can continue to attract students in a highly competitive higher education marketplace. We have a great responsibility to our students, to our faculty, to our alumni to really keep pace with our peer institutions and in fact to outpace our peer institutions. The university is in the process of building the largest structures that we've ever done. Uh, the DeNaples Center, Condren Hall, our planned science building. It's transforming this campus uh, in a very material way. You know, we want to compete for the best and brightest students. The DeNaples Center is a dream come true. With the addition of the Daple Center, I think there's a new life to campus. I think people are excited to walk in here and gather. The new student center looks looks fabulous when you drive up Mulberry. It's right in the middle, and it's one of the first things that you see when you look at our university. Condren Hall will be a place where the sophomore class can really grow in um, a community together and be more connected than the other classes have been, and I think it's a great development for the university. The dormitory is, I think, what every parent wants. Every undergraduate is required to take at least two science courses. This education is not just about facts, it's about learning how to learn and a new facility that will allow students to really participate more deeply into, in that process is perhaps the biggest thing we can do, not just for the community, but for the students that come through here for generations. A new science facility is going to serve every single student in the university. What we're trying to do is break out of the, the traditional walls that keep science separated from everything else. Facilities wear out. Facilities get old, facilities get tired, and they need to be replaced. When that science building is complete, a visitor is going to come to the University of Scranton, and they will not be able to tell the difference between the science building and the campus center. That's how active and dynamic that science building is going to be.
Where there is no margin, there is no mission. Where there is no great endowment, it's a school that has to struggle. Without scholarships, I would not have been able to attend the University of Scranton. We want to make sure that we provide the university the resources to maintain its place in the world, uh, not only in, in terms of the academic arena, but in people's lives. My scholarship was what got me here. I've been grateful ever since. In many ways, the 120th anniversary provides us with a great opportunity for celebration, looking back and looking forward. We believe that we're at a pivotal, transformative moment in the history of the institution. I'm delighted that the university is taking on this capital campaign because it needs the resources to grow and stay competitive for the future. It's very important for us to give back to the university that's given so much to us. I feel it's only right to give back. We're really asking people to step up and really make a difference at the university. It's important to give back to something that was so much part of your past and so much part of your success. I really feel as if we're all working together to try to make the university as strong as it possibly can be. The ability to make an impact with your gift is very, very important, and you certainly have that in the University of Scranton. The gifts of our donors uh, and the um, products of their generosity go well beyond the bricks and mortar piece. Uh, they go into the um, lives uh, because we do a, a transformational education. As a result of my education here, it really set a very good framework for the rest of my life. We're always part of, of this community, and no matter where we are, there's always a little bit of Scranton with us. And it's a place we can go to our mind over and over and find contentment and peace. And it's so great to have that as part of my life, and I think it's a common bond for many alumni. It's a new day, and the university has to be ready for that new day. This place is happening, and it's happening now. I want to be a part of it. <laughs>